I submit that this isn't even a trial. What's been perpetrated here by the district attorney is beneath the dignity of this court. As I've shown today, this whole escapade is nothing more than an act of revenge. And for that reason, I move that these proceedings be declared a mistrial. Order. Order in court. Order. Your Honor, I strongly object. The defense is grandstanding. If you have a question, ask it. Your Honor, the prosecution has testified that there is a personal grudge against my client, which, combined with the egregious, arbitrary nature of the prosecution's case, can lead to only one conclusion. The only measure of justice my client will receive is if a mistrial is declared. Your Honor, the prosecution and the justice system is not on trial here. This woman sitting over here is on trial. If she goes free, if she does not pay for what she has done, where is the justice for these three women that have suffered? Order. Sit down. Or I'll be forced to remove you. And if there are any further outbursts in this courtroom, I will be forced to clear the courtroom. It's going to be OK. We will get justice. We will. until this matter is resolved. Get control of yourself, Barbara. Your behavior is not helping your case. Do you have any idea what you are doing? I'm trying to do my job. Is your job ruining my life? Is that what Stenbeck is paying you for? Is that what he wrote to you with all those letters? Enough. You hate me? Fine. Play it my way, and you'll hate me from the comfort of your own living room as a free woman. Your Honor, I apologize for my client's reaction to the prosecution's underhanded Your Honor, tactics. the defendant just requested she be locked away. That's tantamount to a confession. Your Honor, it's obvious the prosecution is without conscience, asking that a distraught victim's hysterical outburst be used against her. Have you no shame? I was just about to ask you the same thing. That is enough, the both of you. I will take Mr. Travers' motion into consideration. But, Your Honor, we will take a 15-minute recess so that I can consider Mr. Travers' motion for a mistrial in peace. All rise. The unbeatable Marshall Travers. This is how you maintain your winning reputation? You're not a lawyer. You manipulate the law. You distort people's situations, everything, just so that you can have your way. You know better than the criminals you defend. I hold up. I was skin of my teeth. You didn't have to jump up and defend me like that. You could have been charged with contempt of court in there. Good. And get used to it, because you are mine to defend whenever I want. I know you're angry about what I set up on the stand. Well, I'm sure Barbara appreciated it. it must have been like a, a silent victory for her to realize you're still carrying a torch for her. Emily, will you years. give me a break? Why else wouldn't you want her to go to prison, Hal? Lots of reasons, And you know Emily. plenty of reasons why she should fry. 
In spite of all the nasty little tricks she and that one-man dream team of hers pulled, the fact remains that Barbara Ryan ordered James Stenbeck to destroy me and two other people. If she doesn't deserve to go to prison, then who the hell does? You do believe Barbara deserves to go to prison, Emily, don't you? she's my kid's mother. That isn't mother. what I asked. Will is young. He's confused. Do you want me to send her to prison for the rest of her life? Do you have any idea what that kid has been through the Stop last couple of years? Stop using Will as an excuse. Okay, so obvious you still have feelings for her. Don't be ridiculous. Mother of your children or not, she deserves to be treated like a common criminal. All right, let's say you were in the hot seat. You could put Tom in prison for the rest of his life. How do you explain that to Daniel? Simple. I explained him all the rotten things his daddy did to deserve it. I guess I don't have the taste for the jugular that you do. Hey, can you believe their testimony, Hal and Jack? I mean, why not just write the woman a love letter for Pete's sake? She could walk our I hate what Jack said. But the way that crooked defense attorney asked the questions, he didn't have any other choice. He didn't lie. He owned up to what happened. That is the man I fell in love with, Emily. How can I get mad at him for telling the truth? Will you listen to yourself? Barbara could go free. And if she does, it won't be Jack's fault. And it won't be Hal's. Then whose fault will it be, Carly? Who's going to take responsibility for her crimes? Ladies and gentlemen, the judge is ready to rule. While I do not find that there is any evidence that the district attorney acted with malice in bringing these charges against Barbara Ryan, the court does find that she showed less than prudent judgment in not recusing herself from this case. Therefore, I am left with no choice but to grant Mr. Travers' motion and declare these proceedings a mistrial. Can I be letting Barbara go free? Some, someone has to do something. This is wrong. This is wrong. How can this be happening? Barbara Ryan wanted us dead. She, she, she didn't care. She took us away from our families, our, our lives. She didn't care if we lived or died. How can, how can this be happening? Oh. This case is dismissed. All rise. All right, sweetheart. On what planet? This was robbery. He's the one who should be on trial. He's the thief. He's just stolen any chance those women have of getting any justice. Come on. Congratulations, Barbara. You're a free woman. Jessica could decide to retry it, couldn't she? She wouldn't take that chance. She knows what she's up against now. I realize this has been very difficult for you. I promised I would present the best case for the defense, and that's exactly what I did. I can't pretend it will be easy for you to rebuild your life from here, but you've survived challenges that would bring other women to their knees. I wish you all the luck on this one. Take care of yourself. that could happen was Barbara would get a sentence that was too easy. Never in a million years did I think she would walk. Just remember one thing, okay? She didn't win. And you know why? We're here, Emily, and everything that woman tried to take from us, we still have. Carly, open your eyes. The woman is free. Look at her. Does that woman look free to you? Living well really is the best revenge. You're living in her old house. You're about to marry your ex-husband who adores you. Her youngest son thinks you hung the moon. That's your life, Em. Enjoy it. Oh, I can't. There is a beautiful man over there waiting to take you home, to take care of you. Let him. I'll talk to you soon.
So, Carly, here we are. All alone. No witnesses. Come on. Give me your best shot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all of it. And I know you've been waiting months for this moment. But there's nothing that you could say or do to me that I haven't already thought I'm of I'm happy myself. that Will doesn't have to grow up without a mother. He's a good kid. He deserves a good mother. I hope somehow you can find some way to be that for him. It is difficult to be a good parent, to do the right thing. I should know because it is taking everything in me right now not to knock you into that cherry box. And it took every bit of willpower that Emily has not to rip your eyes out. But we love our children. That makes us better people. It absolutely makes us better than you. You created all of this so you could have Hal, so you could have Paul all to yourself, so you could be the undisputed ruler of the fashion world. Look around you. No Hal. No Paul. No Jennifer. No family. No friends. And that is probably the worst prison, the worst punishment that anyone could ever have. 